hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Let me turn the music down a bit. There we go. <laughs> so it has been a while since we've done a gameplay of anything beside the Boot Saber. So, I'm getting everything fully set up. And let me mute this music. Hello. Okay, let's go. I don't remember where we left off. I think it was in that death day party, if I remember right. About to find out, aren't we? Wow, we're already 64% through the game. See how this goes. Once all the polyjuice potion ingredients had been collected, oh, Hermione right. was able to mix the potion, and Ron and Harry changed into crab and coil. Harry and Ron need to follow a Slytherin student to find the Slytherin common room. Yeah, I somewhat remember this now. Hermione said that we may have some difficulty moving because Crab and Goyle are bigger than us. Okay. I won't try jumping across any gap. Uh, I forgot that this we is the... Get going. That this is the type the of, the of uh, talking to use. Run out. We need to find out where the slivery cupboard room is. I hope we can find someone to follow. There's a sliver in now. Quick! Follow him and don't lose sight of him. So what do we have to chase him? Like oh. okay. Yep. They really do like their chase segments in this, don't they? So why is the way to the Slytherin Con Room in this game like a death trap? <laughs>
Elvis. There you are. Have you two been pigging out in the Great Hall all this time? How did you know? People seem to think that Saint Potter, the mudblood friend, is the heir of Slytherin. I wish I knew who it really is. I could help them. You must have some idea who's behind it all. You know I haven't, Goyle. How many times do I have to tell you? But I know one thing. Last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood died. So I bet it's only a matter of time before one of them is killed this time. I hope it's Granger. Hmm. Okay. All right, now where are we going? Get out! This is a girl's bathroom. No boys allowed in here. Show's gone mental. Drench the flying objects before Ow. that. What is weird? Failing at. Oh, it's you playing a trick on me. Almost as funny as throwing a book at me. Let's all throw books at Myrtle because she can't feel it. What a lovely game, I don't think. Here, why don't you have it? Oh, great, we're dropping frames all of a sudden. Well. Should be coming back now. Sorry if I looked like a slideshow for a second there. Don't know what was going on with that. But my internet connection, like, didn't halt, but slowed I'm down glad a lot. We changed back. I didn't like being crab one bit. I wonder where Hermione went. I hope nothing went wrong with her potion. <laughs> Harry, something went wrong with my potion. <laughs> Harry, I'm very displeased that you missed my new defense against the Dark Arts class. To be a successful wizard, you have to study with the best. Come along to my office for a private lesson. Professor Gilderoy Lockhart. <sighs> Looks like you're still Lockhart's number one student. Remember that Lockhart's office is in the lower castle. I thought it was bad enough with everyone thinking I was the heir of Slytherin. A private lesson with Lockhart is much worse. Yes, I'm going to yes see if is. I can find Hermione. I wonder what went wrong with her potion and where she went. Yeah, especially since this is completely different with how the uh, story and movies went, but you know. If I'm getting the spell I think I'm getting, that means that I... Everyone's saying that Potter's the heir of Slytherin. Potter's a parcel now. Everyone knows that's the mark of a dark wizard. Okay. What was... What was the point of that? Okay, so it's in the lower castle somewhere. Oh boy, I'm gonna get lost very easily, I can already tell. Because for once they don't have someone guiding me, it's too. Yeah, I'm fucked. What's this? Oh, lock us off, it's okay. Didn't get that, that lost, apparently. Ooh. 
Guess what, Harry? Hermione's in the hospital wing. The polyjuice potion turned her into a cat. Seems like the hair from Millicent wasn't from her at all. I hope Madame Pomfrey doesn't ask too many questions. Anyway, I suppose I should be going to the private lesson with Lockhart. Mm. Okay, what was the honey? Oh, chairs. Never mind. I thought there was a chocolate box or something. office is in the completely like opposite place where it should be you know in the defense against the dark arts ah, classroom Harry, you finally made it terrible news about young mr creepy being petrified not to mention poor mrs norris no need to worry though as your defense against the dark arts teacher i'll save the day watch my expensive wand as it moves and press the symbols it points to do this three times and you will learn verdimilius duo are you ready? No. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like oh. Dear, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That was terrible. That's the easy one. Ready now? Mm, no. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. One more to go. Get ready. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. You've earned the passable grade. Well done. If you come back later, you can try for a better grade and earn a special prize. Yeah, maybe next time, time with the, the easy one won't be, you know, something you. that now, Harry, <laughs> tricks you. Hold down the X button to cast a fully charged Verdimilius duo spell. Once cast, mm -hmm. the spell will show you objects hidden by dark magic. Use what you find to leave the room. Hmm. I forgot how janky the jumping is in this game. As seen. And there go the platforms. Great. Oh, I'm so close to death. Survived. Do I dare? <laughs> ah! I somehow lived. I will take it. Excellent, Harry. I knew you would do it. I'll have to watch myself in a few years' time, or you'll be stealing my job. Now, run along. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and I have something very special planned. And you know, I'm betting that it's going to automatically change the next day. The race for the House Cup continues. Yep. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to redo that. Oh, actually, I don't know if I want to work 100% this game. This is not as Raven exciting Cole. as the other versions. 
Hufflepuff? Slithering. Gryffindor. Yeah, if I get enough people Gryffindor like wanting me to continue and actually hundred percent it, sure. But otherwise I just wanna get through this. Cause I had this in my childhood, but I didn't remember it very well. That scene. So yeah. So they love showing this hallway, which Happy Valentine's Day, Harry! Have seen yet. How many cards have you received? Uh, so far, I've only received um, 46. Hmm, but the day is still young. I've arranged a little surprise for you and the rest of the students at Hogwarts. My friendly card-carrying cupids! Oh, you, Harry Potter, stay there. I've got a musical message to deliver to you. Valentine's cards? Ugh! Keep away from me! Another frickin' chase segment. Oh, oh well, there's, here's that hallway I was talking about. This is a weird ass chase section. I don't even care if I miss the beans. Do I care if I get caught by these things? Cause guess what? What if I get hit by those arrows? Cause I cannot afford to die. I was about to say, where's the next platform? Could you stop doing that? So where did your third friend go? But there were three of you. Why are there only two of you? Flicked through the blank pages of the diary. Then he pulled out a bottle of scarlet ink, dipped his quill into it, and dropped a blot onto the first. What, wait, what diary? Excited, Harry loaded up his quill and wrote, My name is Harry. We'd never picked up the diary in this game. Then at last, something happened. Oozing back out of the page came words Harry had never written. Harry nearly upset his ink bottle, and then more words appeared on the page. I know all about the Chamber of Secrets. Fifty years ago, the chamber was opened and a girl was killed. I caught the person who opened the chamber all those years ago. Harry paused for a second and then wrote two letters. O. K. The pages of the diary began to blow as though caught in a high wind, and then the diary seemed to open up, and Harry was pitched head first into the opening. Harry saw that he was standing in a corridor in Hogwarts dungeons. They Peering couldn't through make a crack this a gameplay thing? Open door was a boy of about 16. Hmm. Okay. Harry knew at once that this was Tom Riddle, Weird, the but owner of the diary. I guess it works. Then Harry heard someone speaking in a low whisper. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. Come on now, in the box. The voice definitely belonged to Hagrid, who, Harry now saw, was crouching down in front of a large box. Riddle suddenly stepped out from the doorway. Evening, Rebeus. It's all over. I'm going to have to turn you in. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. The young Hagrid rose up to his full height and roared at the top of his voice. It wasn't him! He wouldn't! He never! And then, from out of the box came something that made Harry let out a long, piercing scream unheard by anyone. A vast, low-slung, hairy body and a tangle of black legs, a gleam of many eyes and a pair of razor-sharp pincers. The thing scuttled away, 
tearing up the corridor and out of sight. No! The scene whirled. The darkness became complete, and Harry landed with a crash. Later, Harry met up with Ron and Hermione. What's up? Harry could barely get the words out of his mouth. It was Hagrid, Ron. Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago. Wow. This is really how they're going to do it in the PS1 version. Okay. I, I think this is why I don't remember this one as fondly, because it definitely does not. Riddle might have got the wrong person. Story, right? Maybe there was some other monster that was attacking people. Hagrid would never have meant to kill anybody. Mm. We've always known that Hagrid was expelled. The attacks must have stopped after he was kicked out. I'm going to the library, see if I can find information on Tom Riddle. And while I'm there, why don't both of you go and see Hagrid and ask him what happened? That's the one thing I never got even from the books. So why did Tom... Why did he actually use his real name? Because... <laughs> we better be careful, Ron. We're not meant to be out in the grounds after dark. I mean... If you really think about it, that's his real name, and Dumbledore would have known that. Cloak to avoid being seen. Remember that you need to collect these to power up your cloak. Oh God, doing this again. Sort out of sight when they run out. You can unlock the doors by using these pressure pads. You just need to charm a nearby object onto them. Wingardium Leviosa. Nice one, Harry. I'll meet you at Hagrid's. Good luck. Why do we have to go two different ways? There are two ways to get to Hagrid's. So I'm dying. Oh, this seems freaking familiar. Like, this looks exactly like how it was in the uh, Sorcerer's Stone. Wingardium Leviosa! Guess what's in the first village? Where is he going? He's going that way. He really is blind and deaf, isn't he? Whoa. That was a snake. Almost ran right into him, too. Mm. I don't know what ate my jump there, but definitely glad that I lived. Wingardium Leviosa! How do I get up there? one so <laughs> that's at least something okay see anyone yeah but I see this is here for some oh that's why is McGonagall out here <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa Okay, we are 
dropping frames again. And let this catch back up. If it will catch back up, um, okay, I think we're good now. Sheesh. Don't know what happened there, but hi. Oh, I have to start all the way back here. What in the fuck? This area should also still be unlocked, which is good. Because I really didn't want to have to redo that one, because that one is probably the hardest, and probably for a good reason, because it looks like it's the last one. See? Bat. Oh. Snape. this entire time, you fuckwad. Okay, so first, what's over here? Do still have to be careful. Make sure to stay out of sight. Just use the camera edge. There's Filch. Doing his thing with Snape. You don't come over here. Is Fudge coming back? Yeah. Yes, he is. Oh. Now students are Fuck. alive after dark. Okay, at least it takes me off. Up from right here. 
Even you aren't important enough to be outside of okay, the I, dark. Okay, I barely moved. That one was not my fault. Someone's light. Who's there? Fucking goggles. Too bad I can't fucking see her. There we go. Let's get a good look around. Oh, the goggle and snake. Seriously. Good thing I got up there. Okay, so the pressure plate's over there. Snape goes all the way out because his line of sight is weird. In fact, all of theirs is. Who's there? Like, see? This pressure pad has a different image on it, and there are no objects to charm. Is it like a timed thing? Yes, it is. So you have to literally book it. Just squeeze right in there. What the? F Still made it. Somehow. You made it then, Harry! Shh! Someone's talking to Hagrid! Yet again, Cornelius. I tell you that taking Hagrid away will not help in the slightest. That must be Cornelius Fudge. He's the Minister of Magic. <laughs> my dad's boss. Quiet, Ron. Look at it from my point of view, Albus. I'm under a lot of pressure. Got to be seen to be doing something. 
If it turns out it wasn't Hagrid, he'll be back and no more said. So, where am I going? You'll only be going for a short stretch, Hagrid. It's not a punishment, more a precaution. If someone else is caught, you'll be let out with a full apology. Not Azkaban. Come along now, Hagrid. If anyone wanted to find out some stuff, all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. That'd lead them right. That's all I'm saying. Ron, look at all the spiders. I'm going to follow them. All right, be careful, Harry. I'll go and tell Hermione what we've heard. Well, we're about approaching the one hour mark. Hagrid said to follow the spiders. <laughs> so, as soon as we hit that, I'm definitely turning this off. sure when I went offline. But I think I'm back. Let me double check. Sheesh. I don't know why this keeps ha happening again. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to figure this out really quick. Um, okay, I think we're back. I have no idea why that I had to restart, like, my, uh, streaming stuff altogether, but... Looks like we're good now. Uh, just drank a Wigan Well potion to feed some spiders, in case y'all missed it. <clears throat> yeah, nothing too exciting. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll have to keep watch of my, uh, online time. <clears throat> And I think after I'm done with this level, I will possibly move to a different game. Nintendo. Ooh, freaking... Nintendo. Keep... Nintendo. Cause yeah. Stand where I point, look upon the waterfall, and you shall see the light. Are you talking about the Vertimilius? They really need a sign for that? Oh, why is that so loud?
I'll take it. Dumbledore. Even though I haven't been collecting all the cards. Because I really don't care that much. But still, so cool. the waterfall. Confused all heck on this, but okay. Freaking saw me through the trees. FNAF child. Welcome to my regular just sit down streams. <laughs> it's been a little bit since I've just kind of relaxed. Playing some old games. I'm talking old. PS1. Yeah, I do too. Um, 
sitting in my closet because I use the PS3 for PS2 and PS1 games, or I just use my computer. Slow walking. Hello. No, oh, there's air. Oh, air dog. He does not Who look good. Who is it? I'm a friend of Hagrid's. Huh? Hagrid's in trouble. That's why I came. In trouble? But why has he sent you? Because you're useless. They're taking him to Azkaban. They think he set a monster on students. <laughs> I come from a distant land. A traveler gave me to Hagrid when I was an egg. He cared for me, kept me in a cupboard, and fed me. When I was blamed for the death of the girl, Hagrid protected me. Now, I live in the forest. So do you know what did kill her? The thing that lives in the castle is an ancient creature we spiders fear above all others. We don't speak okay. its name. Okay, I'll just go then. Go? I think not. Each tree you have to get rid of a certain amount. Okay, 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 okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So the yellow one should be really down. This is not really a fight, this is more of a puzzle, but anyway. Am I supposed to follow that? Apparently, if there are a bunch of freaking spiders. Oh, yeah. That's right, I forgot about the car. screeched to a halt and Harry dived inside. Hurry up, Ron! The door slammed shut and Ron didn't need to touch the accelerator because the car was already speeding away. They sped out of the hollow, branches whipping the windows as the car wound its way cleverly through the widest gaps, following a path it obviously knew. Oh my After goodness, After ten noisy, what? rocky minutes, the tree 
trees thinned and the car stopped so suddenly oh, they were nearly thrown through the windscreen. They had reached the edge of the forest. Harry and Ron arrive safely back in the Gryffindor <laughs> common room. What was the point of going in there? What have we found out? I'd like to know. That Hagrid never opened the Chamber of Secrets. He was innocent. He was innocent. Harry, Ron, I'm sorry, but this will be a bit of a shock. There has been another attack. Oh, no. Who? I am very sorry, but your friend, Miss Granger, was found petrified near the library. I have asked all students to remain in their house common rooms. I also have some rather bad news for you in particular, Mr. Weasley. I'm sorry to tell you that your sister, Ginny, has gone missing. The suspicion is that she has been taken into the Chamber of Secrets. Oh no! What are we going to do? Aragog mentioned that last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a girl was found dead in the bathroom. What if she never left that bathroom? What if she's still there? Moaning Myrtle! Go to the girl's bathroom, Ron, and find Moaning Myrtle. I'm going to find Lockhart. Lockhart? Why? He's the defense against the Dark Arts teacher, and whatever's attacking people is definitely involved in the Dark Arts. Okay, I'll meet you in the girls' bathroom. Ginny will be all right, won't she, Harry? Don't worry, Ron. We'll rescue her. Sorry. And then I'll close the Chamber of Secrets for good. Okay, so... Been streaming for... About an hour with some weird hiccups in between. I'm gonna take a bit of a break. Uh, my hopefully should be decently short. I have to do some things. And I'm thinking doing Banjo Kazooie or Donkey Kong 64, one of those two. Yeah, we'll play it by ear, as always. Um, but yeah, I will be right back. I'll get some music on, um, and I'll, I'll stay, like, in the chat. I just obviously won't be here, here. I'll be somewhere else. So, yeah, be right back. Oh boy, wow. Let's say, see how many viewers I just got. Uh, hi everyone, um, I'm just taking a short break. Um, been streaming for about an hour, but I'll be right back, I swear. Yeah, that'll set the tone for what we're actually gonna play, I think.
Okay guys, I'm here. I just have to set some things up now that I'm back downstairs. And yeah, we will get into this. Oh my goodness. Let's see here. Gotta get the... Thank <laughs> you. 
Okie dokie. Let's make sure I've got my controller and everything else set up right. But I think that we are... Alright, 
always forget just how blurry this game looked back in the day. You stop. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Project 64 is being a bit of a bit of a something. But I think I got it. Make sure that all the tiles update because I don't think they did. Sorry, but <laughs> gonna have to pause that for a second. Did it? Disney did it. The title. updated and yeah. The only fun thing about having to uh, use Restream, since I'm not an affiliate to anyone, guess what? I can stream to whatever platform I want to. Oh, <laughs> 
I'll just play the one level in this, just to... Just to get the nostalgia going. Then maybe just like a little bit of Beat Saber, but I'll have to separate the video. I'm gonna skip through a lot of this. First, I think it doesn't do anything until afterwards, but I want to see. Yep, it doesn't do anything until afterwards. Okay. It's been a little bit. <coughs> it's been a little bit since I played this too. Uh, nostalgia overload. to another game. <laughs> so basically at this point I've been going through like all the games of my childhood and you know what? It works for me. the main level. Yeah, as, as you can see from FNAF Child, I mean, I just <laughs> kind of do a mixture of both new games and old games, so. When I'm not doing Beat Saber all the time, this is what I'm doing. 
Also, I hope that you guys don't mind that I skip a lot of this dialogue because... Big story, gotta save your, gotta save your sister. Which is gonna try to... And yeah. Our goal is to stop that. Jiggies. Because they're the main collectible. So, yeah. And this is basically the game. the audio a little bit one more time we're just gonna make the emulator glitch out so yeah and also make my computer glitch out hello there we go that way when it gets really loud like <clears throat> like it just did it doesn't overpower everything Cheapest way to get it right now. But I want to play the very original first. Because it is extremely nostalgic for me. I'm hoping at some point they actually remake the entire game. That would be awesome. Very pixelated. Oh, 
This ran on an N64, which was even before the PlayStation came out. Such an issue is not going to be good for me. He's better. way to travel. Those just tuning in, just having fun playing one of my favorite games from childhood. <coughs> oh, goodness, sorry. There you go. Jeez. Oh, my God. 
Oh yeah, and then, um, before I personally forget, because I definitely will. Um, as soon as it comes out, hopefully, I will be playing the Kingdom Hearts series on here. Because I do have it on, place, um, on PlayStation, but it's coming out on PC in about two weeks. So yeah, kind of excited about that one. disappeared into nothing. This level, and then I'm gonna head off for a little bit. Um, just gotta prepare a few things, and then yeah. Um, guys, definitely let me know if you enjoy stuff like this. Um, if you wanna see more, if you wanna give me suggestions, whatnot, just let me know. And yeah, we'll keep this going. Oh, my camera! I forgot that it makes you slide. Snap! Oh, well, off anyway. So you have to get on that ledge very carelessly. Do that, you have to jump from like right about here ish. A little further. I think. So again, did I mention this is one of my favorite games? <laughs> Mumbo Jumbo. Our main form of transformation. Well, that's about it. Oh crap. Actually, before we do that, just so that we don't have to do a lot of back and forth, I just remembered I go over here first. There is something we have to do. Nobody gives a fuck. I don't know how I did that. I will say I must have done a bunch of first frame jumps, cause that's not supposed to be possible when I'm not holding the Z button. Yeah, 
<clears throat> and then yeah. Now let's go see Mumbo. We gotta transform. And before anyone asks, those are not spiders, those are uh, termites. I just need one more token, which I missed somewhere. Don't know where, but I will find out. It's definitely somewhere. It's not in the hut. By the looks of it. Nope. It's not in the hut. Okay. Where did I miss a token? Am I dumb? Oh, I think it. I think it's in the termite thing. If I remember right. So you have to go here first. Yep. Yep. Like I said, it has been a long time since I played this. I'm talking like years. So if I forget stuff, I'm sorry. so fast. Sheesh. One thing we gotta do as the termite. And for that, we have to go all the way back. Get over here. And just like that, we are back. Okay, I'm gonna get to the next level just so that way I don't have to re unlock it when we stream, you know, old games again. But after this, I'm gonna get going. Yes, we know. We need to 
get as many notes as possible so that way we can get through the metaphors. And they're gonna start dancing. That treasure trove cove is unlocked, and also with that, I'm gonna head out for now at least. Um, I believe tomorrow I'll be doing some phasmophobia, so we'll have some fun with that. Um, and yeah, so thank y'all so much for tuning in, but I gotta tune out, so I will see you all later. Peace out.